Good morning. So many people have asked me, how do I make my super yummy, delicious protein pancakes? Well, got a couple of things here to show you and I'll just get right into it. you need for the protein pancakes are quick oats, usually the easiest. You need your egg whites. I prefer the Eggland's best. They tend to just taste honestly the best and have good little macros for them. Uh, you need your measuring cup. This is a nice thing of Splenda that I just like, like to keep. We don't need tons of sugar. And just add some cinnamon. So step one, you're gonna go ahead and take your oatmeal. Make sure you have your scale zeroed out. I'm gonna go to my macros right now. And you wanna make sure that you are keeping good track of this. Go ahead get your handy dandy egg whites measure it out try and avoid some of the spill cuz I accidentally spilled some um, you take your egg whites and you pour it in there super easy peasy then you're gonna go ahead and take your cinnamon favorite thing grab your cinnamon add as much as you want. I tend to go a little cinnamon crazy. Get your Splenda. Go ahead and add some of that in there. There's no calories to it as long as you don't use too much. And I like to go. put it all in here. I've got a Ninja. Ninja's the best. Go ahead and shake this up a little bit. We are going to come over here, avoid looking at my giant pile of mail that I seem to just never go through. We're going to blend this real quick. After the blending is done, I just go ahead and get pan. It's already preheated. Spray it nonstick. It is the best. Just go ahead and take your pancake batter, pour it on in there. I like to do one giant pancake, plus you make sure you've got everything in there. Then all you gotta do is wait for it to bubble a little bit when it cooks and voila, protein pancake. Insider tip, to so get a super fluffy pancake, go ahead and use a lid. It keeps in all of the steam and it's super now fluffy. that the pancake is totally cooked. Uh, side note, sometimes when making these, they can turn into slightly funky shapes. Tastes the same all together. But go ahead and take it. It is now fully cooked. Add it to your plate and then pick out your favorite zero calorie uh, sugar free syrup. I actually really like this SinFit one right now. Uh, just to make sure I'm not using too much. Pour it into a little bit of a, I'd call it a ramekin. That is not a ramekin, a little bowl, baby bowl. And enjoy.